Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy Spray Paint back at you with another video, man. The other half of it's time for that Culture for the Street podcast. Hit that like button. So this is my reaction to Young Miami dropping the academics diss track. You feel me? And I gotta say, it is one of the worst diss records I ever heard. You know what I mean? I give credit when it's due. Now y'all know academics is one of the most controversial YouTubers it is. Because he voiced his opinion on facts, you know what I mean? If a person make a good diss track against him, he gonna give they they just do. But young Miami, she didn't make the cut. Because for one, she don't know how to stay on beat. And her bars, it just it just don't go right. But anyway, academics went in so bad, he said you could catch an ear infection listening to her music. And I thought he was hating at first until I went and actually heard the diss track called 5050. And I must say, it's one of the worst diss tracks I ever heard. I don't even see how it came to making 83K in nine days. Like, it did 83,000 in nine days. But let's just keep it honest. Young Miami can't rap, bro. She can't. Now, JT, she can rap. Man, if y'all hear that City Girls album, man, with all of the writers and people, all of the super producers that they had on that album, that album was supposed to sell more than that. You feel me? She had people like Usher working on there, Juicy J. The album just didn't do good. And it could be because... You know, they was they didn't have no competition at first. Young Miami and JT, they didn't have no competition when they they started the ratchet wave of this generation. They did that. And it just seemed like ever since Sexy Red, Suki, Megan, when they came in the game, it's just like the city girls uh wave just it just disappeared. Nobody ain't really wanna hear about what's going on with JT and Young Miami. They checked out the new album. Like I said, that new album wasn't it, bro. It was it was terrible. So for her to try to go solo, it's definitely gonna be trash. But JT, she got a chance. JT got a chance. She supposed to be going solo from what I heard. But um Young Miami, she catching a lot of backlash. You got some people saying she ain't good with music. She not good with acting. She not good with interviews. You know what I mean? Academics say he ready for her to come out with a with her OnlyFans because that's the only thing that he can see her succeeding in because the music industry ain't buying it. Don't nobody want to hear uh, City Girls no more. They might want to hear JT, but Young Miami, no, nah, baby girl, you might well rock out with Diddy because... Um, Sexy Red is the new queen of escort music. Because that's all it is. A bunch of females rapping about how good they sex is. What color they cat is. How many times they shoot water. Like, crazy jump, bro. Like, mm-hmm. And, like I said, Miami, she the main one that can't, can't uh, rap on beat. So, JT gonna have to go solo, man. Because... Young Miami, that ain't it, baby girl. Six of Red and Suki and them, they done, they done took that way. You might as well just come out with a merch line and continue working at, working with old Diddy. But y'all drop a comment below and let me know how y'all feel about Diddy dissing. Um, I mean, y'all drop a comment below and let me, let me know how y'all feel about the diss track Miami came out with called 50-50, man. I'm gone.